This is a tutorial on how to make um, fillable PDFs. So first, we're going to have to create a PDF, and I already have one that's already created, which is right here, the one that you gave me. I'll double click it. All right. In here, we try to click on the forms and everything. And sure, you can see the flashing little cursor bar, but if you try to type, I'm going to type right now, nothing comes up. Right. Now what to do to make this a fillable box is you, you press tools. Under tools, there's an option called forms. You open the tab forms, and then you press edit. Once you press edit, you'll be given a, a pop-up screen saying currently you have no forms. Do you want Adobe to help you detect some fields for you, which you definitely do because it'll make your life much easier. So you press yes, and on the bottom you see it showing what it's doing. And now I'll tell you in form editing mode and blah blah. Not very useful, but it's okay. So as you can see on top, they already filled out some easy ones for you. They just did it for you, which is why you press yes. Um, you scroll down and find places like, for example, right here. They didn't actually fill in anything that you need. So this part, would I would say it works best with a checkbox. So then you do add new, and you look for a checkbox. Spend check checkbox, and now your cursor becomes a little box. You press, you just click where you want the box to be, and you can name it. So we're going to name this speaking engagement. Okay, and you press enter, and press all property. After going to all property, you can go into uh, appearance options. You can make this into a circle, or you can make it into a check. I prefer checks because. It just, this is a checkbox, and then we press close. And now we have a little box right here. Um, to see what's happening, you press preview. And now we're in preview mode, and we can collect the checkbox by checking. Um, we're also able to adjust the size of the checkbox. So when you hover your cursor over it, your mouse will change into a little the editing on their sides thing. So then you can minimize it, make it smaller, preview. Now it's smaller. So then uh, you come down here. Um, it'll ask. It'll show you the options more. So this automatically try to make you a box here, but then it's two separate boxes. What you want to do is erase the boxes that they made for you. And since there are a bunch of lines there as well, you want to erase those lines because you won't be needing them. Right? Because you're going to be using the complete PDF fillable box. So you you exit from the editing form, you go into content, edit document or text, and as you can see we're actually able to highlight this part and I'm just going to press this erase bar and I'll erase everything on this line. I'm going to highlight everything, erase. Highlight everything in this line as well. And erase. And now it just looks much cleaner. Just doing one for example. Alright, so that once this is edited, we can go back to forms. We can go back to edit. What you want to do here is insert a text box. So you press text box. You're going to drag it across the screen and you can press the cursor once and you can change the name of it, so we're going to name this Seeking Chiropractic Care. And you were given the option to drag your box a little bigger, click on it. You can drag it as big as you want it to be. Right. Now you want to change the options in it. You want the form to be visible, definitely. You don't, these are not very useful. So then, uh, you can go into appearances and you can change the font size that people type in. So, size 10 is a good size. And you probably want time to your own. Then you go into options and you can enter a default value. Let's say you want people to see complex reasons here. Now, you don't want the scroll text because what the scroll on text does is this. Here, let me show you. Preview. Now it says those reasons here. 
Hmm. Interesting. Exact red demo error. Multi line and So once you click it, right, you can edit, you can draw right stuff in here now. See, so if you have a, a scroll box, what happens is it shows up as this. And you press the plus button to see more, but you won't be able to see the whole text when you print it out. So you go back to edit, and then uh, you have to erase everything in here in the preview box first. Go back to edit. You double click it, and then you want the list of reasons here. You take off this. You want to keep the multi line because that's what creates the different line segments. And you go into general. You can do uh, appearances, font size, auto. That's your best option if you want to make it um, as long as it used to be for the person to fill out. So you double click it, right? One, two, three, two. Preview. And now we just. I already had like, text prints. So you just keep pasting it and it just gets smaller and smaller. But it stays in the same region that you can type in as much information as you need. And then uh, you go back to edit. And that's how you make a box to uh, a checkbox. And then uh, now I'm going to show you how to make the little buttons. So you can click on 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So you go into add new, you do radio buttons. Now for radio buttons, it's going to be a little complicated. So you're going to do effect on work, right? First you're going to do a zero. So then we just radio button choice, we do choice one. We're going to give it a group name. We're going to do work. Alright, now we're going to go into all property. And I'll show you all the general information about it. Not much here, so then we're going to close it, right? Now that we have the first button, we can go in here. We're going to make a, add another button here, radio button, right next to it. It's going to be the same as group, well, group 4 again, and then uh, choice 2, all properties. Okay, we're going to close. And now you can see on the right side here, um, you have choice one and choice two both under the subcategory of group four, right? And then you're gonna add more. So say here, and then it's gonna be choice three, and then another button, choice four, right? Now you have this entire thing. Um, so go to preview. And you can click on one that's hard, right? And change it. Now, if you want to make it for a second one, let's say we're going to make a new button now. We're going to click here. We have to change the group name, or else this button will get assigned under the same group category as group four. So then we have to make, it, say, group five. And then we're going to press enter. If you don't press enter, then it will not make the new separate category. So now it's a new group category. We can click out of it. We can add a new button, right? So we can click here. Now, if I leave the group name as group four, and I press enter, when I go into preview, right, I can check these two at the same time. But then you'll see this one is out. This would be belonging to these this group of four, rather than this group of four. So you want this button. Double click it. You want this to be in group five. And now, if it's in group five, then one or the other. Alright, well I think that's mostly it for now. Because you, you already know that you can edit the text directly within this program within Adobe Acrobat instead of using Microsoft Word. So then you go back to, a, so you close out of the form editing, you go into content, edit document, so then you want to say, from here you want to say yes, and then you put your bunch of spaces and you put no and just list all the options like that. Eventually, after you do everything, um, you would get something like this. Right? You do highlight the existing fields, and everything will come out with a blue tint, and you can fill out the information as you need to, which is what 
you're trying to do. Um, you can also make a drop down list for them to select which numbers they want. So yeah, uh, congratulations. I, I hope you learned um, what you need to learn and be able to carry out this process successfully.